Hey, Kevin, what are you doing? Well, one of those questions I get a lot is, uh, how do you set your plasma cutter? What kind of amperage do you want for what thickness? You know, what kind of air pressure do you want for what thickness? So this is my Everlast Power Plasma 80S, which is an 80 amp plasma cutter. So it's rated to, it's rated to cut inch and a half, I believe it is, and it'll sever up to inch and three quarters. Whoa, <laughs> it's like holding a lightning bolt. And right here on the front of it, you see this pressure gauge? And you see it's pretty darn low. It's down there about, uh, about 15 p uh, PSI. So for somebody, that would be me, bump the pressure regulator back here, change the setting on it. So I'm gonna dial it up to about 60, 65 PSI, which is about where I want it. What are you cutting? Oh, I've got just a piece of eight inch scrap that I got out of the scrap barrel just to show you what different settings pressure wise different settings amperage wise get you on the same piece on the, the same thickness of the same type of metal so let me just turn that up a little there's 30 40 50 that ought to be about 60 right about there and when you're done adjusting it make sure you push that little knob down, that little pressure regular on the, on the back, just push that knob down, you'll hear it go click, and then it's locked in place. So if you're messing around back there, you don't bump it and knock it out of adjustment, like I did. So let's fire it up. You see right now the amperage is at 31 amps. So let's just turn that down to just turn that down to 20 and I'll go ahead and put my glasses on and let's just try to make a cut at 20 amps at 60 psi and I can show you what will happen so this is a piece of eighth inch just cold roll or a hot roll rather that I got out of the scrap bucket so let's see if we can cut it at 20 amps Okay, so let me just bump it up five. I'm gonna go to 25, then I'll go to 30, and then we'll flip it over and we'll look on the bottom and see how the cuts actually look. Okay, now here's 30. So you can see the 20 amp cut. It, I could see that it took a long time. It was really, really slow. It just barely wanted to cut through. And then the 25 amp went a little bit quicker, but I think you can see that there's a difference. I can bump that over. So you can look right down it with the camera. You can see that the 25 amp cut actually looks to be a little bit thinner, a little, little smaller curve, like the 25 was, was taking a little bigger bite out of it. And then the 30 amp looks about the same width as the 25 amp, but went so much faster, it was so much easier to cut. Now let me flip it over and we'll see how much dross or how much slag is on the other side. See if amps makes any difference in, in the, how the cut is. Now you can see the difference in the cuts. You know, if you zoom in right here, well, there's this big lump at the 20, 20 amp. A little smaller, little, you know, maybe about the same. You know, I don't see a lot of difference down in here as far as the amount of dross that is on the bottom of the cut. So let me set this back up. And I think I'll leave it at 25 amps, but I want to change the air pressure. Let's see if pressure makes any difference in how the cut looks on the bottom side. Okay, so here's a, I just got out a different piece of eighth inch plate out of the scrap bucket. It was right next to the other one. And you see I'm set at 25 amps and I'm at 30 PSI. So let's try this.
Okay, so I'm going to bump it from, from 30 PSI. Let's bump it up to 40. Now let me bump it to 50. Well, we've already done 60 PSI on the other piece, so let me bypass that. Let's bump it up to uh, about 70. What the, what the heck? So looking at them from here, well, you see this big glob that formed at the 30 PSI? You know, a smaller one at 40, a smaller one at 50, almost nothing at 70. So let's flip it over. Okay, so looking at it from the back side, good God, look at that mess. So at 30 PSI, the dross actually came back around and tried to fill the whole cut right back in. You can see at 40, there's just a little bit of a gap. At 50, it's a little bit better. At 70, the whole cut is exposed. So I think that answers your question right there. It's not really so much amperage. As long as you have enough amperage to go through your metal and be able to cut at a decent rate where you're not, you know, you're not just barely inching along, letting, you know, trying to get the cut to go all the way through. But it's air pressure. Turn up that air pressure a little bit more. Read your manual. Don't overpressure the machine. They're only set to go so high. I think 70 is may, you know, maybe the highest this one can go without blowing something up, you know, blowing a hose off or something like that inside the machine. So read your manual. It'll give you a range, you know, like from 40 to 70, you know, 30 to 90, whatever. It'll say right in the manual. But that answers the question right there is it's more about air pressure than it is about amperage. So I hope that answers your question. Um, you guys make sure you click on that subscribe button right down there, and we'll see you next time. So let me set this back up, and we'll do the same thing again, 20, 25, 30. Um, 